today I'm going to take you through our e-commerce essentials offering. Here we have a website, a web shop uh, that we built using Nop Commerce, which is an open source um, app, web shop application. Um, I'm not going to go into all the details of what it does, how it works, etc. Suffice to say that it's everything that you would expect a web shop site to cover. So here we've got our demonstration company and we've got office furniture with subsections for chairs, desks and tables and then supplies with different subsections. And when I go on to office furniture, I've got a list of all my chairs and so everything that you would expect to see with the filters down the side by price, by colour, by size, by height, by material. So from that point of view, all of the standard functionality that you would expect with a website. What we at Dynamics Consultants have done is integrate the website and Business Central together so that when you um, load new stock into Business Central, it can automatically upload uh, the, the static information plus the um, pricing and uh, stock quantities onto the website and also you can place orders on the website and these will come back into Business Central. We've done two layers of integrations. We've done the integration for a B2C environment, so for the general public shopping on your web shop, and we've also done it for your trade customers for B2B. So from that point of view, I'm going to walk and talk you through how we've done the integration and show you how it works in Business Central. So here we have Business Central. We have, um, this is a SaaS, a SaaS environment um, that, is, that is running our demonstration. So here I'm in the same company. So it's a one-on-one -on -one relationship. You one website, one web shop uh, links into one company inside Business Central. So I'm going to uh, look at an item and I have created a reception chair. So I've got a new reception chair here. Uh, I've put the description in. We have a unit of measure and we have a we have some stock in there and we have a cost price, 500 pounds, and we have a selling price. So all of that is all completely standard functionality. What we have done, however, is added this new field, NOP Commerce Enabled, which means that this reception chair is now ready, is now able to be pushed up to the website. So if I go to the website and I, I look for office chairs and I scroll down, you'll see that we have this new reception chair here. Um, this is showing inclusive of VAT prices. So if you remember, the price was £900. I've got a, 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 a switch up here that I can swap to show VAT inclusive or exclusive prices. And when I look at my chair now, you'll see it's at the £950 that we had on there. OK, so um, Basically, that flag allows us to enable these items onto the website. What we've also done is for customers, so if I go to the customer card, we have uh, used Sports Mayo Furnishings and there is a NOP Commerce enabled here. So this is one of my B2B type customers so that I have enabled the NOP Commerce so that they can log in and the system will push up their prices. So um, if I look back at that chair that I just looked at, they could have a special price for that chair and therefore they would buy it at that price. Now, how do we handle the... Um, the B2B, B2C customers, you don't want all of those um, customers cluttering up your sales ledger. So what we've done is we have created a special customer, CO30, which basically is a top level customer. And this is for our uh, B2C customers. Um, but what we've done behind the scenes is that we have uh, stored all of the details when they're logging in and giving us their names, addresses and um, email addresses, all very useful information. We have created those as contacts. So as you can see, this is a contact card. This is a company contact, which is why it's in bold. And then we have all the people underneath it. So from that point of view, the um, all of the 
very valuable information is in your CRM systems that you can use for marketing. So those are, those are a few set up things. What I'm going to do now is create a new item. So if I plus new and I'm going to create uh, a cream boardroom. OK, so it's an item. I'm not going to enable it immediately. I'm going to come down here and say this boardroom table costs us um, a thousand pounds. And I need my posting groups, otherwise nothing will work. So it's a retail item and it is a resale item. And then I'm coming down here and I'm going to use my unit price. Now, this unit price is what the system will actually use. So if I was a if I was a member of the public shopping on a B2C environment, then it will use this unit price field here for the price on the website. So let's put on our slide put some stock in in a minute. So the other thing that I want to do is to add some attributes to this item. So here we have attributes. So we've got colour and we're going to say that this is, I haven't got cream so I'll just say white. And I'm going to look at the depth. So let's say it's uh, 600 centimetres wide and the Height is uh, 500, Oops. and the width is going to be, so that's the length really, isn't it? So let's say it's 1500 metre and a half and it's 600 wide. And we also have here um, material. Um, we could have manufacturer. So we're going to say um, that it's marble. OK, these are attributes. Again, this is standard functionality and we could have the model year and we could say that it's 2022. Latest model. So I've added the attributes. I've got my um, my cost price in. I've got my selling price in. What I perhaps want to do while I'm here is add a sales price for my B2C customer. So a B2B customer. So for Sports Mayo Furnishings, when they buy this, they can get this for twelve hundred and fifty pounds as opposed to the. Uh, 1500 so I've set that up as a special price this is all standard functionality nothing here is anything different than the standard application um, whether these prices be net prices or whether they be discounts the functionality works in exactly the same same way and obviously you could have currency you can have quantities on here and all of that information pushes through so the last thing I now need to do is to make it uh, not enabled so basically if I click that button and we go back to the home page. What we now have are some messages here. So if they look at my unprocessed one, here is my um, detail item, which is unprocessed item number 7070. And if I process this one, then basically it updates it. This one is for my stock balances. I can process this, but I'm actually going to go back now and load some stock because otherwise I can't sell it. So I'm going to add some item on. So my item was 70070. So my cream boardroom table, I'm going to put them into the blue location. And I'm going to put in uh, 25 because they're big and bulky. We don't want too many of those. So post and post that and post the journal lines. OK, great. So let's go and another message so here I've got them these the, the stock this time to process so this is my I'm going to do the detail first process and then I'm going to process the stock so now I've got some stock on my on my item so here if I looked at my item in my inventory I've got 25 in stock okay um, that's not going to appear on my website yet because what I need to do is tell it where I want to where I want to see it. So at the moment, when I look at my um, office tables, I haven't got my cream boardroom table there. Yeah, because I haven't told the system where I want to put it. 
So what I have to do is I have to log in and become an administrator to my website. So I'm in the back door here in the nuts and bolts of the system. And as you can see here, we've got lots of different areas that we can configure. We can set up the contents and the catalogs and the different groupings that we want. So what I want to do now to just show you um, is to basically find the item that we created. So if I go here, here's my cream boardroom table with no picture on it. And I want to edit this so that we can put some extra descriptions on there and we can put the, the pictures. So we have more room for description here. I'm going to see, um, so large, uh, heavy table. Seat up to 12 people, very high quality. There we go. So now I want to put the categories. So here are my categories that you've seen on my website already. So I want this to go into office furniture and office tables. Yeah, I could also log it onto the front page as well. So those are the categories that I want it in. Here is my price. So £1,500 that we saw from the item card and the fact that it's a vatable item. Um, and down here we have um, the attributes so we have the color the depth the width the height the material and the model year that you saw me edit these are all the attributes that have come through from business central and now i want to upload a file so i'm going to my um, downloads and there's my boardroom table i'm going to open that there's my boardroom table and i need to add the product picture so there's my picture. You can see here that we've got a display order. So you can have multiple pictures on and you can specify which order that these ones, um, uh, which order the pictures appear in. I'm going to track inventory so that we got the stock quantity has come through there as 25. And as I mentioned earlier, you have different facilities that you can put on. It's always a, an interesting conversation as to whether you show inventory on the website or not. So I think I've done everything. So we've got the description, we've got the pricing, We've got the inventory, we've got the images on, we've got the attributes up. So I'm going to save my item and I'm going to go back to my website now. So if I go back to my website here um, and let's come back to my home page and let's do a full refresh and Go to office tables. And here is my cream boardroom table has appeared. When I click on this, um, you can see it's £1,500 excluding VAT. I've got the part number here, 70070. And here I've got my description that I added in and the specification based on the criteria, the attributes that we added earlier. OK, so. We've got our item up there. We've got all the information. So now hopefully we uh, attract some customers to our website. I'm not logged in here. So um, this is I'm just shopping as uh, Joe Public. So I'm going to come down here and I'm going to say I want to buy a new office table and I'm going to choose my cream boardroom table and I'm going to add it to my basket. And you can see it's all £1,500 ex excluding VAT. So I can continue shopping in the normal way. I can pick more items. I can add more things. I'm going to go to my basket. You see my basket sitting up here in the corner with all the items that I've got on here. So I can do all of the things that you would expect to do as a shopper on the website. So I tick. I agree to the terms and conditions and I'm going to check out. So I'm going to check out here as a guest. I'm not going to um, I'm going to. Um, fill in my details. I've already pre-done this. Let's take out the DC because I'm not buying for DC. I need to select a country, United Kingdom, and I can put uh, 25, the high street, um, and we've got a postcode and we've got a telephone number. So all the things I've pre-filled, but basically they, they would kill it. Uh, enter all of those pieces of information. Continue. Now it's going to ask me what my delivery is. I'm happy to wait 48 hours for it. Now, normally you would select obviously credit card or PayPal or um, SagePay, whatever method they were going to pay by. 
um, because this is a demo demonstration system, I don't have the credit card facility uh, turned on because I'm not putting my credit card in for £1,500. Um, so I'm going to use purchase order just to bypass all of that for the moment. So here's my cream boardroom table. And if I click continue, this is my confirmation of my order. So here's my address come through here. And I've got my um, phone number and details all coming through. Obviously, my payment method and my shipping. So here's my a boardroom table of £1,500 plus my shipping at £7.50 and I can confirm my order. So my order has been successfully processed in its order number 1014. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to log in. So I'm going to log in now as, um, as a, a returning customer and um, I'm logging in as Sports Mayor Furnishings here uh, with my login. And you'll see if I flick to that exclusive prices, when I look at office tables and we come and look at our cream boardroom table, it's now showing me a price of 1,250. When I go into it, it's coming through 1,250 as, um, as my price. So I can add this to the basket in the normal way, go to the basket, and it's not asking me any questions about um, details forgot to tick the terms of service box there we go check out and now it's giving me my options of billing addresses so i can say this is the one that i want and continue and i'm going to take the parcel force in 10 hours here's my purchase order and here it's asking me to enter my po number so mike po888 and continue Here's my order confirmation. Last click to say yes. So £1,250 plus my £10 carriage. Confirm my order and that pushes me through. So this is order number 1015. So now if I come back to Business Central, because we've been away for a few minutes, one of those orders will already have processed. But I've got unprocessed orders here and I need to go and get my not commerce orders, go and drag all my orders down. So 1014 has already processed. So in the background, we have a job uh, job queue running and that allows us to um, that allows us to schedule how often we want the data to go up and the stock to go up, the items and the stock to go up and also how how often we um, pull the orders down from the website. Um, because this is a demonstration, I've got that running quite quickly. And because we've been talking, the first one has already um, has already gone through. So I'm going to process this order and I'm going to process this stock just so that everything's done. And then when I come in here to my NOP Commerce orders, we're going to see 14 and 15. So 14 was my um, B to C order. So when I click on that, the gain to stress, this is all fully automated. You don't have to do this. It's an option that you can take if you want. For purposes of my demonstration, I'm stepping you through the processes so you can see uh, all, everything coming through. So it's our sales order number 1037. We've received the order. We've got our line here. We've got our shipping charge here. So everything is there. Here's my address, 25 The High Street, that I keyed in, and obviously my logon details, and my email address and my phone number to send all of the confirmation emails, etc. to. If I go here and view the sales order, it's 1037. Here's my sales order, so now in Business Central sales order. Um, it's a release sales order. It's a NOP commerce order, and the NOP commerce order was 1014, and there are my two lines, so my GL line for my delivery charges, etc. So all I've got to do now is just go and click for the warehouse to pick it up and uh, pick the items in the normal way. So if we have a look at the B2C one, the B2B one, this one is come from Sports Mayo Furnishings. Uh, we've got the different price on here. Um, and we've got £10 shipping charge and this is 1038 in here. So you can see now it's put the company name in and the company account number in. We've got the purchase order reference here. Again, it's a released order and I come through here. There's my two lines in the normal way and it's linked to the Not Commerce 1015. So again, it's a released order. We can just literally go and pick this from the uh, from the warehouse. So we've pushed through two orders uh, in, from the website into Business Central. Um, 
so I hope you found that useful. Um, if you want some more information on how this works and the pricing, et cetera, then please um, let me know or contact one of the team and we'll be more than delighted to help you with this. Thank you for your time.